If I can keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. Welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my music. I'm throwing this recipe together. I just looked up different ways to make shepherd's pie. Combined a list of what I had to make a vegan type. So come along with me, these are the ingredients, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So got most of it out, black pepper, thyme, parsley, onion, fresh rosemary, harvest it so, I'm just going to cut it with my cutco knife. Green beans eventually go in. And the other are uh, refrigerated items. I'll show you those in a minute. Alright, here's an interesting song. <clears throat> Excuse me. I already made the mashed potatoes. Those are going to end up being the topping. We're going to be using the mindful chicken plant-based protein. Chicken, vegan chicken, basically. And chop up the carrots. Of course, there's always green onions because we have them coming out of our ears because we just keep them. We just put them in and let them grow in continuously. Onion, of course, you already saw. It's garlic. It's garlic will go in there as well. And then this is the last of the gravy that's going to go in for this vegan shepherd's pie variation that I'm making up. All right, so I'm going to continue on here. Alright, we're gonna get this party started. You know, you gotta like classic stones, I suppose, but they're not like, oh, I actually don't own any other albums. And I own a lot of albums, but I'll listen to it, you know. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the. Get this off my knife here real quick. I'm gonna put the onion in. And the carrots, because of course carrots took a minute, take a minute to cook. And also the garlic. I like this song. I'm getting surprisingly good at doing one-handed cooking and filming. All right, hold on, guess I can't do one-handed. <laughs> seasonings in and the fragrance is mmm delicious so superb oh that chicken chicken on the bottom chicken is chicken and I'm gonna be making uh, everything ciabatta from Trader Joe's garlic bread and then um, peas I didn't have out yet and then you saw the Worcestershire was another ingredient I didn't have out yet so we're moving along here this is a chill song. I've had a very, very interesting day. Um, words can't explain and I'm, I'm doing the cooking segment now so we're not going to talk about it. It's just trust me. Life is precious and short. I'll just leave it at that. Alright, the rest of this stuff is all in. I also wanted to say that we buy uh, bulk items, like bulk gravy mixes, meaning you have to like make a half quart of gravy at a time or whatever, but you save money doing it. And then I just make the bigger batches and then the next four or five meals basically, I work in that ingredient. Like you'll see several of last year, the gravy was implemented and I just make up stuff. So yeah, this is what's gonna be the main base uh, ingredient at the bottom of my shepherd's pie and then with the um, mashed potatoes on top. And then like I said, the ciabatta, everything ciabatta garlic bread. I, I like to use the garlic powder. Okay, I don't really have any more steps to show you right now, but this song is just so classic. Breakfast Club. Total 80s. My era. 
can show you that I will be using my mother's vintage Pyrex. It's very old and <laughs> very stained, but I love it. The lid got broken a few years ago, but we still uh, use that for the casserole, so I got, got ready to put it together and put it in the oven. How can you not love this? All right, so that's the base of my vegan shepherd's pie. And now in go the mosh potato for the top. And then bakes 350 for 25 minutes. Love, love, love this song. All right, beautiful. Time to go in to bake. Yum. This song's funny. Okay, I'm gonna put the garlic powder on. You can do garlic powder or garlic salt. We try not to do too much salt. And another hack, when you don't have butter, or if you don't want butter, you can always substitute with mayonnaise, whether you do vegan mayonnaise like we do, or regular mayonnaise. And it uh, browns nicely. You can also use that for grilled cheese sandwiches instead of butter on the outside. Usually I used to put paprika on the top of my garlic bread, but I have a skin condition. That I'm sure you heard me mention, and for now I can't have that. So anyway, this will go in shortly, and dinner will be served shortly thereafter. Sorry I keep coming back for no reason, but you gotta love ACDC. They're playing such good music tonight. And I just on a whim decided I'm gonna put these crispy fried onions on top of the casserole when it's done cooking. As you know, that's a go-to topping for me. Short story about ACDC. We wanted to go to the concert. We didn't have tickets. We are gonna buy them from a scalper. This was in the 80s. They were out of our price range, so we just partied in the parking lot. We could kind of hear the music. We didn't see them on stage, but that's as close as I got to ACDC, unfortunately. I'm telling you, tonight is the night for music. This was the first 45 I ever bought, and on the other side it had a Don't Try Suicide was the flip side of this. And the garlic bread's almost done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but.